How we doing, Nation? John here. Thank you very much for being here this morning. We are going to be reviewing Battle Box. This is Mission 102. I'm going to try and streamline it as much as possible, but as always, I'm going to put all of the important specifications like, you know, is this blade made in the United States or somewhere else? Blade length, uh, you know, steel strength, that type of stuff down in the video description below. All of the important stuff, the links and things will be down there. And just a reminder, in case you are brand new around here, I do not make commission off of uh, anything that I'm showing you today. Battlebox, they're kind enough to send the stuff over. They've asked me to show it to everybody, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Uh, so anyway, let's start with the basic box this month. Again, this is the Pro Plus box, everything they've got to offer uh, for the month, but we're going to start with the basic box and this is mission 102 once again so the first item that i'm showing thank you beasley <laughs> is the slot lock stakes going to come in a bag just like this and ooh, ah made in the usa battle box you get some credit for that so what these are is these are replacement tent stakes a lot of times if you buy a tent especially if you're buying it at a big box store or something like this they come with the little bitty metal tent stakes things bend like nobody's business y'all know what i'm talking about with those they're very cheaply made these are meant to replace those all right and the way these are going to work is you will see a hole right there i see you <laughs> you're going to run the uh tent cordage up through here and then once it comes out, you're going to see how it's slotted. So you can go off to the side and just lock it into place. Uh, and again, you're going to get four of these. And also, in my time, I have tripped over a couple of tent stakes and taken the big fall, taken the hard ride to the ground. So thank you very much for making these easily visible battle box. I think that's a pretty cool item to start out with. Next. Kuju, I think I'm saying that properly, Kuju Coffee Base Camp Pour Over. So, you're going to get a box of coffee. Now, this is a little different. You're going to get six pouches. I've already got one opened up here. These are what the pouches look like. All right, they're sealed up in foil packs. Smells pretty strong. I've got one out, and I can smell it even without putting it up to my nose. But these are a little bit different. These are kind of cool because this actually pops out you see these wings that's upside down these wings pop out on the side and what these do i've got it zoomed in today y'all so you can see the product better sorry about my big nose <laughs> uh this goes down in a cup these i guess they're called wings i don't know if they have a specific name they go on the outside of the cup and uh that kind of locks this pod in place then you just pour boiling water over top of it. When it gets to the top of the cup now, you've got your coffee at the bottom of the pod. Probably can't see that with all the lighting, but it's it's about to right here. And so it's, it's just going to brew within the cup. So it's a quick way to make coffee. Yeah, there are better ways. You can just pour some instant coffee in there and get to it. Uh, but some people don't really like instant coffee. They'd rather have what i consider to be the real deal then you're going to get six of those and that is kuju coffee now some of this stuff may be available on its own a la carte from battle box i'm not sure uh but if you get the entire box and you're brand new over there i know that we have a 15 percent off discount code that will be down in the video description below next up in the basic box the panther vision gumby lamp that's interesting LED headlamp. So, I don't blind anybody. There we go. Looks like it has three settings. Um, this thing is silicone, it would appear. <laughs> Big old red target, right? Silicone. Uh, seems to fit pretty well. Again, it's a headlamp. 
you know, not the greatest headlamp I've ever seen because it, again, it's stretchy silicone, certainly not the worst. It recharges USB and I got to call it for what it is. This is some bull crap right here. This USB cord, I mean, some, some products don't even give you a cord anymore. They just assume you've got a hundred laying around, which to be fair, I do. I have a hundred laying around in junk drawers and things like that. But seriously, if you're going to put a cord in there, this is probably a three inch cord tops. All right. Again, three settings. Let me see what the specs are on this. And again, I'll put them down below as well. Water resistant. So don't, this thing is not going to make it at the bottom of the ocean very long, but if it gets a little wet, you should be good to go. Convenient size and lightweight, that it is. Three modes, high, medium, and low. Uh, on high mode, which is going to be 70 lumens, it's going to last four hours. On low mode, 15 lumens, and that is going to last, oh man, 10 and a half hours. So not bad. Not bad, all things considered. Finally, in the basic box, um, a very simple item, but also kind of cool. Uh, it, it's a keychain, folks. It's a glow in the dark keychain, but it comes with a couple of clamps where you can hook this maybe to, I don't know, anything you want to. A bag, hammock, the inside of a tent, maybe some fishing gear. You're going to get two of those clips in a bag. Uh, it looks like there may be different colors. Luck of the draw, so you can get clear green, orange, which is what we got in this case, yellow or blue. I don't really have a preference, as long as it glows. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is, a keychain. You know, not a terrible item. Again, this is the basic box. I ain't expecting it to be knockout of the park on the basic box. But all things considered, four neat items, four items that somebody can definitely use camping straight away. And, uh, you know, you're going to use all four of them. If you're a coffee drinker, if you're one of these weirdos that drinks hot tea, you know, they ain't got nothing for you this month. So skipping over now to the advanced box, the next level up. This is neat. Uh, this thing, I believe, is $49, if I'm not mistaken, on their website. But it's a Battle Box Onyx. It's literally a Battle Box branded knife. Uh, and I'm going to, again, leave all of the important specs, length, blade length, and all that stuff down below. Uh, comes with a, no, not a coupon, a warning card. Basically saying, hey, dummy, this is sharp. Don't cut yourself, son. <laughs> all right, so we've got BattleBox embossed on the... Um, not on the not on the handle on the sheath. Now one complaint because I saw this box several days back when BattleBox themselves were reviewing it, and a bunch of people were complaining about the knife being loose. They'd already gotten their battle boxes early somehow. I don't know how that works. And they said it's really really loose, man. They don't like the knife. So I understand what they're saying. I can hear it. I get the complaint here. Okay. But it's not an issue other than a little bit of clanging around. This thing is not coming out of the sheath without some actual effort. So could you avoid this when you are mass producing a knife? Probably. Okay, but again, it's a branded knife. It's $50. It's got a slip proof handle. Got a little paracord on the back. Little rat tail, as I like to call it. The blade itself is also branded uh, Battle Box. I mean, it's a it's a decent looking knife. It's a it feels good in the hand. I can get over. I've seen much worse, guys. I got to be honest with you. I've seen worse sheaths coming out of the Knife of the Month Club. I've seen worse worse uh, sheaths out of other subscription boxes, like they're top tier. So. It's not a big issue for me. I can deal with a little bit of this, a little bit of character, I'll call it. Uh, but again, that's the advanced box. You may be able to buy that a la carte if that's something you're interested in. Again, I'm not sure. Jumping up now to the pro box. 
This one we're going to come back to. This actually is an award winner, and, well, we'll get into it at the end. I'm going to show you the item first. It's by Rhino USA. Yes, it's made in the USA, baby. And I have several things that Rhino have put out. Um, they, they put out, like, toe straps, uh, tie-downs, things like this, s gauges and things for your tires and stuff. But anyway, this is called the Rhino USA Kinetic Recovery Rope. So, says it comes in a really nice case, and I got to be honest with you, it does. When I saw it at first, I said, this better not be one of these cheap cases after they're bragging about it. But it's really not. You could The case alone, you could use for a lot of different things. Um, you know, camping and stuff. But, if you have a Jeep, or you have a truck, you likely have, or you should have, some kind of recovery kit. So let me explain real quick because, you know, if you're in a Prius or something, you may not understand. You're out four wheeling or you get off into a ditch somewhere and you can't seem to get loose or maybe you're in a bunch of mud. You can actually tie off to a tree and, you know, a lot of people use winches too, but I digress and get yourself out of a spot. Or you can use something like this to tow somebody else out of a bad spot. So here's the rope itself. Um, I'll put it back in the case when this is all said and done here, but, um, the knife of the month out. Well packaged, well bagged. They're not kidding. Uh, this is a smaller USA company. So mad props for that. So both ends you're going to have, uh, it's going to say Rhino USA. Well, let me get a better shot of it there. Right there. You're going to have that on both ends. Um, working load limit, 6,655 pounds. Minimum brake strength, 19,965 pounds. This is three-fourths kinetic rope. So that is the Pro Box. I'm impressed, but we're going to chat about this item a little bit more here shortly. Thank you, Beasley. I appreciate it my virtual assistant over here it's a stool y'all pro plus box this item is called the atac ghost now if you've been with battle box for a while the pro plus typically there's a knife there typically it's a really good knife it's known on the streets as the knife of the month club for this reason and spoiler alert it is indeed a knife a former military operator designed this knife because he was deployed and he found that the knives that he had with him were either too big too heavy too bulky or just much too small to actually use so when he got out of the service again it looks like carbon fiber there about halfway up he designed this knife and he got it to several of his friends who were operators and uh now he's making them uh Apparently, they're really good. So, flip open right here. Very easy to flip open. Zero, and I'm talking about zero play. Sometimes when you get a hold of a cheap knife, there's a lot of wiggling going on right here on the, uh, you know, the mechanism inside there. There's zero here. This is a legit knife. That's how you can tell. Part of the uh, blade is serrated uh, right there. To some people, they're going to be like, that's not a big deal. Other people are going to be like, yeah, that's a huge deal. You either like them or you don't. Looks like you got a maple leaf there. Um, and a clip on the back side with some more carbon fiber. Again, I'll put all the specs down below this video. Um, glass breaker, which is absolutely mandatory. I believe this knife is around $90 if you order it by itself a la carte. That's a nice glass breaker to boot. Um, some of them are cheap. That one is not. The only issue I see, and it's not really an issue for me, it would be if you were left-handed or for whatever reason carry a knife in the opposite pocket. Looks like the clip does not move to the other side. Like there are no holes there. But all things considered, an excellent, excellent knife. All right. Here's what I think about the box and getting back to this item, okay? 
this box is a home run if you have a Jeep or you have a truck or you have a substantial SUV, you're in rural America, and you don't already have this in a recovery kit or a towing kit or something, okay? Because it's an excellent quality rope, straight up. This is not Chinese crap over here. But if you already have a knockout rope, the only issue with the entire box that I have, quite frankly, is this thing, I believe, is around $100, a little over $100 uh, on their website, BattleBox's own website. That's a big ticket item to be putting in a box. Plus, it costs a lot for BattleBox to ship this out. So they are really rolling the dice here and saying, you know what? Somebody's going to love this rope right here. And a lot of people will. But again, if this is zero interest to you, skip this box because that's a hundred and, and I think it's a hundred and nine dollars that's absolved already. Uh, you could have did different things with a hundred and nine dollars. You know, um, hopefully BattleBox is going to watch this video. Leave a comment. And please let me know what you think of the box, because if they do indeed check out the video, they'll see your comments as well. But you could have did a lot here, I think. You could have shipped something out that's going to be used more, that's a lot cheaper for you to ship as a company. You know, you could have put one of the, for example, a uh, portfolio solar panel in there and a really good one um, for $109. Been easier to ship. And that's something, you know, that people are going to use quite regularly when the power goes out or when they go camping or something. You could have put a four pack of life straws in here or something like that. Now, maybe that's just the prepper in me. I get that this is a great company. Again, extra credit because they're in the United States of America and they make quality stuff. It's not junk, but that's $109 down a black hole uh, for a subscriber. If they, you know, if they're driving a sedan and they don't, they're living in the middle of San Francisco, they have no use for this. So hopefully again, BattleBox sees this. This is not me trashing the box. I think it's an excellent box. For me, it's about an eight and a half. Um, could have been a nine, but I mean, come on here. <laughs> um, but all things considered, it's a great box. It just depends on where you stand on this. You know, some people are going to be like, I freaking love that. That's my favorite item in the box. Other people, not so much. My favorite items in this box. Um, I it's gonna sound weird, y'all, but I actually prefer this knife. The other one's great, the other one's great for an everyday carry, but there's something about this knife, it's just comfortable. That's my favorite item in this box, and the fact that it's branded with Battle Box doesn't hurt. And the other one, again, it's gonna sound crazy. But these are good tent stakes compared to what you're going to get out of, you know, at the point of sale, I should say, with your tent nine times out of 10. So those are going to be used almost immediately. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thank you all very much for watching this gear video. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but we ain't talking about tea this morning. We're talking about coffee. Y'all take care. And God bless.